Take the Earth AgriSpray drones. We recently just got one of the beta units that we sent out, the beta J100s we sent to New Way for testing. Uh, we just got it back because we know there's been some problems with this drone. Um, you guys probably saw some videos New Way put out uh, there in April showing some issues with connectivity, some issues with the battery, and a few other things too. And I wanted to take a look at the software on here and the firmware versions on here to see kind of what they were using because I've stressed it in the past with update videos. Firmware is incredibly important on this drone as we go through updates, as basically it got launched uh, here in, in January and has gone through rapid development to make things better and better and better. So we'll look at the firmware that they were using on this, see what they used then when they shot the video back in February and what they should have been using and where we're at now on the firmware. Uh, so we're going to go into our device tab. The drone's connected to the remote. Um, here on our device tab, uh, we can go into you know, our module and just look up everything here. But we'll kind of go through kind of one by one and check those out. Uh, so the firmware version here, uh, this is for the drone itself. If you hit upgrade, you can see that the latest version which actually came out here this month um, was not updated, of course, because we just got it back. But even the version before that in April uh, wasn't updated to it. And we can see that they did update actually in March, but when they shot the video, they were down here on the firmware version from January. And that was the first basically US firmware version, which had a lot of bugs in it uh, because when we transferred over from the, you know, the Chinese firmware version to the US firmware version, a lot of things kind of got lost in there. We had to go through and do a bunch of updates to fix those things. And that's what they were operating on in terms of the, the UAV firmware itself. This was way down here. Uh, so that was no firmware updates on the UAV. Uh, when we look at the app itself here, we're currently on uh, 50.12, which is the original version app. Uh, you can see now we're up to 50.38. Uh, so there again, that was prior to all of the updates on the app itself. Uh, we go down to the RC uh, firmware upgrade on the RC. Let's click on that. There you go, they were operating from, yep, February, that's what I thought. Uh, so they're currently on the February version of the, uh, the RC firmware. Uh, and here we had one there in March, came out in March that uh, was not upgraded, um, you know, prior to getting this drone back. Um, and then I know they had some issues with disconnecting, you know, two drones disconnecting in, in the field. And I can tell right now this P301 module, we educate all of our dealers, all of our customers when we're operating two drones in the field, make sure that uh, your signal is different on both drones. Uh, that's that P301 module under your RC. Uh, it's on 121. If you go to upgrade, you can see that's not even available anymore. Uh, it has to be either 123 or 122. So that's 100% the, the reason that uh, this drone and the other one they were operating in the field was losing signal. We go down to the CPU. Now the CPU, this is a tough thing because you actually have to take the hood off and plug the remote in uh, to the USB-C right here and actually update the brain of the drone itself, the firmware on, on the CPU. Uh, you can see right now it says not connected to the CPU. We can tell what version that we're on. If we go to UAV, we go to auto here, we can see co-controller, that's CPU co-controller. Uh, we're all the way down to 0.162. Uh, we are, uh, I don't remember the exact firmware version we're on now, but I know we've had two at least since then and a third one getting ready to come out. So this has definitely never been updated as well on the CPU. Uh, let's check the battery. Um, yeah, so here we go. The battery firmware version is 3.5.30. We're on 3.3. That was, that was out in, in March, I believe that was. Uh, basically changing some of the characteristics of the battery in terms of um, intelligent um, resumption or intelligent return to home. And we can see that right here if we go into our settings on our battery. We can see that our battery management looks way different now and it has for quite a while actually um, as far as the options you have to make the drone continue spraying or when you want it to return to home. Um, so you know what they had on here basically it was it was dead it wasn't even though they could put in 46 volts it wasn't coming home at 46 it was coming home at 48 because the firmwares were misaligned. Okay let me just go through and check everything else. 
we went through yeah just the drone the app the rc uh the cpu the battery we don't have the charger i know they had some charging uh problems where it wasn't um it wasn't in recognizing the battery but i guarantee you if we had their the charger that they use uh that the charger itself would have the older version of firmware on it there you go so if you guys saw you know some videos of this drone flying and were concerned check the firmware ask your dealer make sure that they know and that you know what firmware versions to operate on we are rapidly advancing ea is here right now continuing to advance this firmware make things easier to use and safer all at the same time since we're talking about firmware and the importance of updating i thought it'd be good to go ahead and show you how this drone should be updated because there's a lot of things modules that we need to update so we're gonna go ahead and jump into that and do that right now so we'll go to our device with the drone on with the cpu on the screens on everything's on uh, we'll start with the uav just work our way down the list we'll go to firmware version on the uav which is the drone's firmware there we have the top 113 is the latest we will do an upgrade on that of course you have to have internet um, connectivity uh, for this to happen and it's best to do if you have multiple drones just do one drone at a time Okay, UAV firmware is update and it'll actually reboot the CPU to kind of hear the fans kick off. So we'll close that, exit out. We can check our spray package and radar package, but uh, we don't have any new upgrades there. Uh, so next we'll do check our power package. Now it says we're on the current version of the power package, but we know that this battery is not the current version. So we'll do a refresh on that. And even if the drone is on the current power package update, you do have to do a refresh for each battery that is not up to date. So if you have three batteries, that is three times doing the power package update. Okay, power package is done and it says please restart the drone. The drone actually, the, the main battery actually just shut off, the drone battery shut off. So we can close that out, exit out, and then we'll power this battery back up. And we can probably see, um, we have a flashing light here. It said 25% before we did the update. So I'm gonna check to see our battery percentage now. It should be lower than that. There you go. Now it says 10%. So that's the update on the, on the power package on the battery itself is much more accurate readings uh, for your battery percentage. Okay, we'll go back into the device. Uh, that should be everything we've done, everything from the firmware on the UAV to the power package, run down to our app, and we'll check the app. There you see we have an update for the app, a new versions available, 5.15. We'll update the app. All right, so we got the app downloaded. Now we're gonna go ahead and click update, and that's gonna update our app. That'll do a reboot of your app on the remote. All right, we just rebooted the app, uh, logged back in, and now we actually have a prompt on here that says there's a new flight controller version. Uh, that's actually the CPU. It's called many different things, but it takes you to the CPU when we click on that. Um, we'll, we'll do our RC first. We've done everything on our UAV. Uh, our app is up to date. We'll check our RC, check our firmware RC. There we have new firmware version on RC. We'll hit the upgrade there. Okay, that update is finished and the app, uh, the remote just rebooted it again. Uh, now it says to do a rocker calibration now, uh, since we did the update. If you do this, uh, then make sure the drone's off before you do it, that's kind of safe practice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cancel this, uh, we'll do it later. Okay, we'll go back in. Our app, our RC is updated. Uh, last thing to do here is our CPU update. So we'll click CPU update. We're gonna power down our battery We're going to power off our CPU. You can do this a couple of different ways, either through the app or the easiest way, honestly, is just grab this um, plug here that says BAT, that's for your CPU battery, and just unplug that. There you see our lights are off, now our CPU's off. And then you need a USB-C to USB-A cord. Plug that into your USB-C port on the drone. And then we'll plug that in on the remote. The USB A. It asks us if we want to connect. We we'll click OK. 
and then OK again. There, see it pops up. It knows it's connected now. So we can click uh, on CPU. We can go to firmware version. We do an upgrade. And we'll hit upgrade. And then we have to unplug and plug back in. Click OK, and then it's going to start the upgrade on the CPU. This is the one thing that almost everybody forgets to do or doesn't, uh, doesn't do correctly, doesn't have the right cable, whatever. But it's very important to do it. All right, CPU is updated. We can go ahead and close this out, plug in our battery. The CPU will get power without this battery uh, cable plugged in. There you see our lights are on on the CPU. Um, but just remember to plug that back in when you're done. Now we'll back out. We'll go back up to UAV. And then if you go to module and click the auto button there, you can see it tells you all the different firmwares. And co-controller, which is our CPU, uh, is on 205. So it is on the most recent firmware. So now all that's left to do is to update the other two batteries for this drone. Um, that would be on the power package upgrade. Just put that battery in there, turn it on, update those batteries. Um, and you can check to make sure that this battery is on the current version by clicking on, again, auto. Uh, and then check smart battery, it says 0.33. So we're good there. Um, and then we'll do a rocker calibration and we're good to go. All right, that's the update process. Make sure you guys follow it to a T. If you have any questions, reach out to us or to your local dealer. Thanks.